And we are at Tampa Airport headed to Seattle today for our Alaskan cruise. So we are at the Space Needle. 11 o'clock check-in, the amount of people waiting to board the ship after check-in. Oh yeah, now the real is waiting. <laughs> Quick tip to you guys, as soon as you board the ship, this is the amount of people. This is only the 11 o'clock check-in. 11 o'clock check-in, the amount of people waiting to board the ship after check-in. This is only the first boarding here. Yeah, how long is it going to take? These at three, our boarding times are at 11. We're like five minutes before then. So any minute now, they're gonna start letting people in, but still, it's just, you would thought it would be a bit more streamlined to get people through in the ship. It's not like Port Canaveral, where you just, things are so streamlined, you just walk in. But here, I think they're a bit more old, old fashioned. <laughs> well, you know. I don't want to say the word obsolete, but <laughs> you know what I mean. There's opportunities for uh, improving efficiency. How about that? So when we got into the port, they gave us this letter. And it says right here, pretty much, that due to um, decreases in daylight, that we won't be able to go and visit the glacier on our, I think it was going to be on our fourth day. So instead of that, they're actually just increasing the time we're stayed at port in, in Janu, Janau, Janu, Janu. I'm sure that's probably going to upset a bunch of people, hoping to get close proximity to those glaciers. I don't know, maybe they'll, do, they'll uh, still do the excursion though, to the glaciers. Yeah, maybe we can get a different excursion. Yeah. Oh well, it is what it is. So in less than 10 minutes, it all emptied out. That was a lot of people just flooding into the ship. <laughs> Probably flooding into all the common areas in the ship, like the buffet, solarium. We're here just waiting for a few more friends to arrive. Oh, even longer line. Look at that. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, now the real this is wait. The line here. <laughs> wow, but it's such a massive shit. Look at that. <sighs> All right. We're boarding the catwalk to the ship. wait by the bionic bar right here until our stateroom is ready and I'll reserve some uh, some of our activities so a quick tip to you guys as soon as you board the ship go straight to the Royal Caribbean app connect to the Wi-Fi and then go to use their app to try to reserve a slot for the North Star experience um, the iFly skydive experience or any of the other experiences or shows because they get booked insanely quick like it's like oops um 1208 where we were supposed to board a ship at 11 so by 12 o'clock everything's all, almost fully booked we're having a hard time finding a reservation for 
any of the onboard activities. So make sure to just reserve it real quick when you can. The other part that's messed up is so some of the onboard ship activities, like the North Star experience or the iFly experience, um, they're complementary on days of port, but then when you're out on sea, it's not. And you have to pay extra. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Wow, that takes thank you, thank you. Look at that. Thank you. Washi, washi. Here is the bar. Ooh, look at this. Look how pretty that is. All kinds of stuff in here. They have a salad bar right here with all kinds of stuff. They have sandwiches. They have a pasta station. Yummy. And it just keeps going and going and going. Salami yeah. sandwich, macaroni, some chicken piccata <laughs> thing, and a salad. And a salad. I got vegan curry, wow. none, um, chips, and a roasted beef. That's a nice variety, like, yeah. Three different kinds of Very, yeah. <laughs> right here, the paella, the chicken. Uh, shrimp and uh, all kinds of other seafood in here. We'll wrap up this. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, that's really good. So you already see on day one, just on the first lunch, first meal of the trip, already amazing food. Already throwing at us a huge variety of seafood. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, hoping you think you will get uh, uh, sick of uh, seafood by the end of the trip. Maybe not eat so much of it. <laughs> Maybe lots of burgers and pizza when we get back. Yeah. <laughs> Here is, and she already took a bite out of it. I'm not waiting. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, raspberry uh, tart, pineapple. What do you th thought about? It, the flavor was good, but the texture was a little weird for me. Texture? Yeah. Mmm. Right. The textured weird, right? Mm, yeah. It's um like a jelly, right? But it's not as sweet as you one would think. Yeah. All right. All right so this is a uh, blueberry layered cake, uh, coconut puff cream, and just a generic cupcake that was part of that American flag earlier. Uh, you know, always wanted to eat part of the American flag, right? Be patriotic. <laughs> so let me try the first, the layered blueberry. Mmm, very light, fluffy, and it's not that sweet. No, you hardly taste the blueberry. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't really have that again. Let me try the coconut puff. There it is. Mmm, oh gosh, a little air, a little cream. I wouldn't have that again either. <laughs> it's not that sweet. So then, let me at least try the patriotic uh, cupcake. Right. Tastes like a generic cupcake. <laughs> oh my god, look at my mouth. <laughs> my mouth looks like a mouth of a, of a smurf. Um, eh. I, surprisingly enough, I think this raspberry tart was the winner. <laughs>